College Board 10, calculator allowed number 36. In the xy plane, a line that has the equation y equals c, a horizontal line, uh, for some constant c intersects a parabola at exactly one point. If the parabola has the equation y equals negative x plus 5x, what is the value of c? All right, so there's a lot going on in this setup, but I think the first thing I want to do is pick apart the equation for this parabola. So if I take y equals negative x squared plus 5x, I'm going to factor this. I'm going to factor out a negative x, and I'm left with y equals negative x times x minus 5, which I've already kind of pre-written here on my iPad. Now, in this factored form, I could tell three pieces of valuable information about this parabola. First of all, it opens down. That negative sign tells us that our parabola is going to open down. Now the next piece of information is, because this is now in factored form, I know that my parabola has zeros at x equals zero and x equals five. So I can get a rough sketch of this parabola. I know that it goes through zero and five along the x-axis. Put a little five there and we'll put a little zero here. And I know it opens down. Now it's not gonna be a perfect sketch, but it looks something like that, right? kind of a basic sketch of what this parabola looks like. Now, they're talking about some line y equals c. Let me change colors here. Some y equals c. They say it's um, intersecting the parabola exactly once. It's a horizontal line. Oh, guys, I think this is a really long-winded way of them asking for the vertex of this parabola because I think that what's happening here is this horizontal line is a line that hits the parabola exactly once at its vertex. So if we could find the h comma k of this vertex, that k value that you are familiar with from your Algebra 2 class, that k value kind of matches up with the c value that they're talking about here. It's, that, it's the y value, right? Um, this y equals c is the same thing as writing y equals k, but in your math class you probably called the vertex of a parabola h comma k. So y equals c is what they used, y equals k is what you would use at friend, same idea. Anyway, long story short, can we find the vertex of this parabola? Because if we can, then we're done. Now there's a beautiful symmetry to parabolas. And the symmetry is that the vertex will always be halfway between the zeros. And so if I have a zero at five, and a zero at x equals zero, the average of those two is gonna be where this x value for our parabola's vertex is. Um, halfway between zero and five is the x value for the vertex. Well, that's 2.5 or five halves. Now don't write that as your final answer. That's the x value of that vertex. We need the k value or in this problem, they're calling it C, but in your math class, you would have used the letter K, not that it really matters. Um, it's the Y value, though. If, we, if the X value is 2.5, what is the associated Y value? Well, we get that by plugging into the equation for the parabola. We had negative X squared plus 5X. That's how you take an X coordinate on your parabola and use that to find its associated Y coordinate. So in this case, negative 2.5 squared plus 5 times 2.5, that will be your y value. Run that through your calculator and you get 6.25. So the y coordinate for our vertex is 6.25, and that's what you're going to bubble in on your test booklet.